Over the past few weeks of grinding, we've set ourselves up with a nice set of properties. We've now got a high-end apartment, we've got an arcade, and last week we got a bunker. And today we're going to take it another step further and we're going to buy our first MC business. If you want to make a lot of money really quickly, it's important that you don't just have one source of income. So buying a second business is going to help us make a lot of money a lot faster. But what business should you buy next? Well, that's coming up after the drop. So we're going to buy our first MC business, but before we can actually buy an MC business, we first need an MC clubhouse. Because unfortunately, that's the only place that you can actually buy these businesses from. You'll see that they aren't on your maze bank floor closures like the rest of the businesses you can buy. But the good thing about that is that the MC clubhouses aren't really that expensive. So to buy a clubhouse, you will need to go to maze bank foreclosures. And when you're on there, I would recommend just getting the cheapest one. And that's the one out here. It's the Great Chaparral Clubhouse. Now, as you can see for me, this is free. That's because on my other account, I got the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. But for the sake of the series, I'm not going to make use of that. So we're going to buy the one that's just a bit further off to the right. It's a little bit more expensive, but it, it really won't matter that much. But for you, yeah, buy the Great Chaparral Clubhouse for $200,000. Don't worry about any upgrades. You don't need any of that. You're actually never going to be going to your clubhouse unless you're going to buy more MC businesses. So really, you're probably only going to go there about five times. It's not worth getting one in a better location. Just buy this one and save your money. So let's head out there and set this one up real quick. Working ball. Whatever, whatever. Yo, you got to invite some prospects. Get them to join the club. Then you lay down the hierarchy. You usually need like a VP, a road captain, a sergeant at arms, definitely an enforcer. You know, something like that. Each role got its own perks and its own responsibilities. Hey, it's good to keep shit organized, because there's jobs out there folks will pay an OMC to do. Get them out of trouble with the 5-0, run protection, make hits, you know, whatever. Work goes up on the board, and you can take it if you want it. What else you need to know? Uh, uh there's plenty of room to store your bikes. Every club member gets a spot. If y'all want to set up a bike shop, we can make that happen. You got to pay for the work, though, on all those rides, but it's all good. Cause you got a cat on site. There's a spot where a gun locker can go should y'all need the artillery stored in the building. And then we got a PC back here on an anonymity network. Ha! Ah, you seen that shit? The feds don't pick you up. You can hook it up with these internet cats to run illicit businesses. Take a look at that shit. For real. You'll thank me. And that's that, baby. I'll be in touch if you take any of that club business. Otherwise, enjoy the place. <laughs> Okay, so once all that's done, we're going to go over to the laptop in the office at your MC Clubhouse and we're going to buy our first MC business. So what's the best business to buy? Well, it's actually not even close in terms of profit per hour. The winner by a pretty long way is the cocaine lockup. So that's the first one we're going to buy. As for the location, just buy the cheapest cocaine lockup. We'll show you where that is in a second. It is in a really good location. And the goal really is to get all of your businesses pretty close together. That means you can just do all the sell missions back to back to back. You can go restock them easily. Everything's just a lot easier if they're closer together. So let's go ahead and buy the cheapest one and we'll head over there now. So just like the bunker, we do have to do a quick setup mission. And while that's playing in the background, I want to go over some of the stats because we didn't really go over the stats of the bunker last week and I think there was a bit of confusion with that. So just like with the bunker last week, this is a completely passive business. All you need to do is restock the business every couple of hours and then your staff are going to convert those supplies into product. It's really easy. It's all going to happen in the background while you're online in GTA. Without any upgrades, you're going to get $30,000 production per hour from the cocaine lockup which really isn't that great. And what's actually interesting about that is if you buy supplies instead of stealing supplies, 
while you don't have the upgrades, you're actually going to lose money on that. Because as you know, resupplying your bunker fully is going to cost $75,000 and those $75,000 of product won't even convert into $75,000 of stock. So that's why it's extremely important to buy the upgrades for this business. Now those two staff and equipment upgrades are going to cost 1.3 million, so it essentially over doubles the price of the business, but it also almost triples the production of your cocaine lockup. So like we said, $30,000 per hour without the upgrades, that increases to $74,000 an hour with the upgrades. So to fully upgrade a cocaine lockup, you're going to need about $2.3 million. So I probably wouldn't recommend buying one until you have $2.3 million because you're really going to want those upgrades. After that, man, it's pretty much doing the same money-making strategies that we've been doing for the past couple of weeks. And that is do maybe a casino heist, maybe it's some VIP jobs, whatever your preferred method of making money is, and then sell the product from your businesses when they're ready to sell. So what I did to make money this week was I did some headhunter and sightseer missions when they were double money at the end of last week. And then I did two casino heists and in between each heist I sold my cocaine lockup stock and my bunker stock. And after I did all of that, I've ended up with over $2 million, which is going to be used in next episode. So before we finish this episode off with some gameplay, you'll notice that it is a bit shorter of an episode. And the reason for that is because I'm probably going to be uploading another episode midweek this week. And there is a very important reason for that. And we'll talk about that when that video comes out. So enjoy the gameplay, buy a cocaine lockup and get grinding. If you're still kind of unaware of how the cocaine lockup sort of works and you're not really sure, I made a separate guide specifically for the MC businesses. I go over how to operate them completely, every question you could have, right down to the profit per hour for every single business. So I didn't want to include that here just for the sake of everyone who already knows how they work, but I'll link that one below, so definitely check it out if you're still sort of unsure. All right, let's get into the gameplay. Wait... Wait. Heads up, CCTV. Ahead. The stun gun go, 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 go. Go old school and time your run. I'm gonna get right, I'll get left. You got this? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Well. There is indeed a thing over here. This guy's moving. Oh, there's Holy a guy shit. right there. He's gonna see me for sure. That was clutch, wasn't it? No. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> that was nutty. Alright, now what? We're just tranquilizing all the fools in here. That's how we like it. Okay. Hard as and what? Try not to run into anyone. Go, 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 go! We Go, 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 go. Tell you how long we've got until it comes back on. Easy money, baby. Stay here, someone push that button for me. Got it. Watch out, Liz. One sec. No, why? I didn't. I'm running. Don't have enough stamina. Oh, I've got stamina back. Are they both on you? Are they, like, are the cops on you? Yeah, they're on map. Okay, let's go. Follow me, boys. Wow, <laughs> nice. I 
Way Gucci. <laughs> Mission <I> failed. <laughs> <laughs> hey boys, here's some money that we acquired uh, legally. <laughs> oh my god. Silver. Silver. Wow, I got $394,000. What's this look like? Look, you're spinning in semi circles. <laughs> Does the whole cart move when I do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you kill him, please? Where are they? What? Why can't I get back in this thing? Stay away! It doesn't matter, it can kill us now. We've already dropped it off. Oh, the helicopter's doing flips and shit. Oh, he's dead. Ten deliveries. Why don't we just do it in one boat? <laughs> You see that little bag in the middle of your boat? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Only one of them can fit per boat. <laughs> yeah, of course. Because they need to sell shark cards. That's the real reason. Find me on the mountaintop. 